to Speed Scene Live, the number one online drag racing TV show and the only show dedicated to the sportsman racer. Brought to you by Curry Rear Ends, m and Tires, Hedman Hustler Headers, Aeromotive Fuel Systems, and TheFoat.com. With your hosts, Diana Might, Bruce Barker, Scott Lucky Hudson, Alex the Car Girl Rogio, Hot Rod Bob Beck, Plus, Dar Hawthorne and Donnie Couch. Oh yeah, and it's another Tuesday night. Welcome back to Speed Scene Live. I'm your host, Diana Might. We've got Scott Lucky Hudson here to my left. Great to be here, Diana Might. Hey, and we've got Bob, of course. Bob, say Please. hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and Bruce, what would we do without him running those controls and giving us Great things to think about, well, right? And perhaps even more confusingly, Diana might. What would I do without me? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. We yeah. would ask Sarah. But we will. <laughs> yeah. We'll go ahead and we'll let everybody know that tonight we're going to talk to Kelly about the Ultimate 64 race in Clay City, Kentucky. And we're going to talk with Steve and Ken Henning about a new show coming up on MAV TV called House of Grudge. But most importantly, live in studio tonight, we've got Chris foresight representing the west coast classic at auto club dragway fontana june 12th through the 14th sponsored by fig speed finally big buck bracket racing coming Ooh. to the west coast exciting yes and, and bob yes i hear you're getting classy I tonight <laughs> i am getting cla- you know i i like to bring some class to the show so Even we're going to have fine art displayed a little bit later on Steve Stanford is going to be calling in, and we're going to be showing his fine art that's on display at places like Peterson and you know, the museum. He also got inducted into the Custom Car Hall of Fame this last weekend. Ooh. So this guy is cool. Then, you know, in the future, you know, Lucky's going to be on the road. Oh, yeah. Well, we've yes, got to fill the, right. We're going to fill the show. I've got people like Randy Cardoon from KNX Radio who does a show called All About Cars. He's mm-hmm. going to be coming in. Jeff Smith, he used to read all his tech articles in the Peterson Publications and uh, CarCraft and so forth. He's going to be coming in. We're going to do a spotlight on a sportsman racer. And we'll announce who that's going to be a little bit later on. Scott Lucky Hudson? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. He's already had too much Hudson, spotlights Hudson, on him. Oh. He's got spotlight burns. Overexposed. <laughs> yeah. Me and John Force. You, yeah, especially John, yeah. <laughs> and speaking of John, we're going to have John Batted Jassic on the show. We'll talk about the great success of the Eagle Field race that just happened a couple of weeks ago. Holy cow, Bob. Also coming up, more shows with Alex the Car Girl Rogio. Donnie and Dar are going to be back with the Nitro Report. And also Rich Chris. And I know he's coming up because that big race where they're doing the pinks all out week yeah. that we talked about here on Speed Scene Live, kind of all spring here and there. Anyway, they're planning on coming back with that show again to talk about the uh, big Rich Christensen race, his big race on Fourth of that's July a weekend. That's mouthful, it. isn't it? I know, yes. and I only made it through once out of twice, so I'm fifty-fifty, <laughs> man. That race, by the way, at Rockingham, July Fourth yeah. weekend. Man, Be they there. got junior dragsters now. They got motorcycles. They got AT. What do you call those things? ATVs? ATVs. Uh-huh. Uh, they got everything. ATC. They got everything yeah. going on. At they the got race. air traffic controllers. They <laughs> got ATCs. Yeah. If it's got ATCs, a wheel. That's it. ATC, too. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's there. If it's got wheels, they're going to race it. I wondered why you were looking at me like I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight we're going to get a chance to find out about a great event happening at Auto Club Fon- Fan- Fontana. Fantastic. And, uh, Fantastic. Uh, Fontana. Diana, why don't you uh, welcome our guests? Sure. I'd like to welcome Chris for Chris, welcome to Speed Scene Live. Thank you. Glad to be here. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the opportunity. Sure. Now, Chris, you got a great race that's happening at the Auto Club Fontana June 12th through the 14th, and you're sort of basing it loosely off of the uh, the Spring Fling event. Uh, what is it about the Spring Fling race <laughs> that uh, works so well mm-hmm. and, and makes racers so happy? Well, I think the Spring Fling has kind of set the standard for what a racer's race is supposed to be. And be it that the West Coast racers have shown the excitement and uh, the, 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 the fire to bracket race on the West Coast, we're, we're excited to bring something to supplement that race throughout the year. 
And I think the big thing is us throwing up guaranteed money. We're going to have nearly ninety thousand wow. dollars of that's prize all. money. That, that's everybody, big everybody money. Everybody likes money, of yeah. course. <laughs> and between that, racer giveaways and our two uh, pre-entered car shootout Saturday night, we're looking to have a big, big event June twelfth through the fourteenth. Well, you've got some great events, and of course, uh, uh, race pack and uh, Lucas Oil, Mazir, and Huntsville Engine. Why don't you tell us a little bit about those sponsors and, and how they're getting involved with this race? Well, first and foremost, uh, Fig Speed and Les Figueroa over there in Henderson, Nevada, they jumped on board and uh, it couldn't ask for a more fitting title sponsor, uh, be it that Fig Speed is a very uh, present, have a, has a very large presence and is synonymous with West Coast Racing in all our events. So to have Les jump on board and to title sponsor this race um, really says a lot for our product and where we want to go with it. Uh, we were able to get Race Pack and Lucas Oil to jump in as class sponsors. Race Pack will be presenting uh, the Super Pro $5,000 purses each day, and Lucas Oil will be presenting the Pro Class 3000 to win each day. Yeah, Les is a great guy. He, uh, uh, We've been in the vendor area with him before, and it's great to have somebody like Les that has parts for sale. You could go up to his trailer, you could buy stuff, plus Les knows a lot about stuff. So, you know, a lot of times you can ask him, hey, what, you know, what do I need for my car? And he can give you a good recommendation. Like you might say, I need a good fuel pump. Well, hey, I happen to have some aeromotive fuel pumps <laughs> right here yeah, in the trailer. Yeah. Yeah, we, you know. Remember when we had like a, a little issue with, uh, it was my car liking. We didn't know if it was the, the, the ignition box or what. And he came up with that special little tool that you can check stuff out with. That's that, right, that MSC Ignition Tester. Yeah, I ended up buying one of those uh, as a Christmas gift uh, for Lucky. And so, you know, it, it really pays <laughs> off to have somebody like that in the pits that knows his products, he knows what you need, and he can give you the information on it. And if you want to buy it from him, you can. Well, and you got to remember, Les is a racer. Les is yeah. a bracket racer. So to have him on board, it's it's kind of twofold. His business is a very good presence to have out on the track, and and Res, Wes, uh, Les, I'm sorry, <laughs> Les is a great guy to go to just for overall uh, advice on the race car. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, uh, Mazir Water Pumps, or, or the Mazir Company. I know yeah. I always think of the water pumps, but they make so many products. How did they get involved with you? Uh, we approached Mazir about putting something together to help spotlight what they do in the drag racing world and, and more specifically the bracket racing. I mean, we're talking about a very large racing family, um, yeah. a couple of which I was right next to in the staging lanes first round Saturday morning. Wasn't real thrilled about that. <laughs> um, but what a great family to have on board. and. They're racers first and foremost, and they, they build their business around what, what we need as racers and what it's going to take to perform. Now, now, let me ask you, because we're showing footage from the spring fling because, well, you haven't had your race yet, so we don't have any footage. But next year, <laughs> we'll have footage from yes. your event. But what is it, what is it that, they did, that Kyle and uh, uh, Peter Biondo did that, that made racers so happy? What is it that keeps bringing them back? Is it the way they treat the racers, the way they run the event? What is it in your opinion? Well, I think, uh, going back to what you said, bringing them back, it's bringing them back and then bringing more in. Uh, Kyle and Peter continue to raise the bar each year with their product. And um, as an avid racer of their product, I go back to Bristol. I didn't make it this year like I planned, uh, but I go back to Bristol and race the fling there. Uh, obviously, I race the fling here in Vegas. Um, they, they give everybody an opportunity whether you win a round, you don't win a round, it, at the end of the weekend, it doesn't matter because chances are you're going to leave with something. That's nice. The racers like to leave with something because nothing isn't all that much fun. No, but you're going to be. Yeah, but you're basing that on that, so you're going to be doing the same thing out of Fontana. Uh, we are yes. We have built uh, a product that's very similar to what Peter and Kyle have started because of the success they've had and the response the West Coast racers have given them. Uh, it, it's it's very obvious that this is the type of product that it's going to take to get bracket racing uh, off the launch pad over here for big bucks. Now you're talking about but uh, talk about big bucks on the Super Pro. You're paying five thousand to win on Saturday and another five thousand on Sunday. That is mm. correct. And those are guaranteed purses. So people are going home with some pretty good money. And uh, 
You know, you have a lot of other packages involved with that, too, right, Chris? I mean, I was looking at the flyer, and and there's, like, a, a lot of companies uh, like Quick Fuel and BTE and Goodyear that are uh, sponsoring rounds. How does that work? Well, we're kind of following suit with what a lot of the big bucks bracket races do throughout the country, and that is get a lot of the sponsors and the companies, the bigger manufacturers involved that want to have a direct relation with a race and the racers themselves. So what we put together is best losing package awards, meaning <laughs> the the gentleman or the young lady who has the unfortunate of experience of putting together a great run but being on the wrong end of it, more than yeah. likely they're going to get to take home a, uh, a product or a gift certificate that has no less than two hundred and fifty dollars value in either class for the weekend. Wow, wow, okay. wow. that's pretty. That's pretty generous, man. Now, you know, there's been a lot of times I've been in that situation where <laughs> I really did a good job, but the guy next to me did a really, really, really good, good job. You mean you lose by like one one thousandth yeah. of a yeah. second? I just yeah, just in there. Much. We cut that 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 you know that really you know zero zero seven light, and you yeah. look down and go a perfect uh, light in the other lane. Yeah. <laughs> you know how many racers are you expecting for this event, Chris? What do you think? Oh, you had to ask me the one question I'd hate to answer. Well, um, well you know you're speculating because you don't know because a lot of guys don't pre-register. How about as many as will come? It, I mean, yeah. you know, w without a doubt. Um, the one thing that we have been fortunate is we've had a lot of positive response. Uh, we, we've really pursued the marketing end of this uh, since the spring fling uh, passed in Vegas, and we have a lot of people excited about the time of the year it is, uh, the entry fees, the buybacks, the round prizes, and, and most importantly, uh, Auto Club Dragway, alive again at Fontana. Yeah. And that's a great location because I don't care – where you are in Southern California, Los Angeles, San Diego, uh, Palmdale, everybody can come right down there to Fontana. It's right off the freeway, and it's a great track, and uh, Tracy Fishley does a great job of running yes, that track. Does. Yeah, and, and, and the location it was very key to whether we thought uh, we could make this successful. And when you look at the uh, ge geography of the division, uh, you look at within six hours – north northeast south southwest whichever way you want to go are all of our major tracks so most of our most of our racers are going to be within a six hour tow to fontana which is is perfectly acceptable i know uh i was looking at some of that footage from the spring fling and there was people coming from new mexico and all over you know making 10 12 hour tows no problem Oh, New Mexico was the short end of it. We had a couple guys come out from Ohio and Tennessee. Wow. Uh, they, they draw um, Canadians from just the most northern point of the planet that you could imagine. <laughs> and, and then we got our friends from south of the border that come up. And you talk about a group that likes to party. And oh, I'm yeah. excited to say that we're going to be having about a half dozen to a dozen present at our race as well. Now, you're also going to have buybacks, just 60 bucks to buy back in. Correct. Super Pro will be sixty dollars to buy back in, and Pro will be forty. That's a good deal. That's a great deal. And the, you know the entry fees aren't that bad either. I mean, you're talking about a one day entry for Super Pro at one fifty five, and a one day entry in Pro of only one hundred and fifteen. Well, that's only for the daily entry. If you look yeah. just below that, I mean, it's two hundred and sixty dollars to race for the full ten thousand in Super Ooh, Pro so if you enter for money. the weekend. Yeah, save money by both days at once. You're going to be there two days anyway. Come on. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, listen. Let's take a commercial break because we're going to come back and talk more to Chris. We're going to talk to uh, Kelly about the Ultimate Sixty Four, and uh, we've got more shows standing by. So let's get to it. I'm Phil Burkhart, and you're watching Speed Scene Live. of racing tires that give you the best bite for the buck. You've paid a lot for that horsepower. Make sure you use it all. m tires has the best compounds available for maximum traction. 
go to mandhtires.com. That's mandhtires.com. Buy direct and save at the website and mention the speed scene for a 5% discount. That's right, mandhtires.com. Call them at 661 324 4773. M&H Tires has tech guys ready to answer your questions or to recommend the best tire for you. Slicks or DOT, M&H Tires has it all. M&H were the first to create racing tires for muscle cars and also the first to create racing tires for sport compact cars. Legendary M&H Tires. Shop online, mention the speed scene, and save 5%. Get the best racing tires Great personal service and save five percent. Go to m a n d h tires dot com or call them at six six one three two four four seven seven three m n h tires dot com. Welcome back to Speed Scene Live, the number one online drag racing TV show. Brought to you by Curry Rear Ends, m and Tires, Hedman Hustler Headers, Aeromotive Fuel Systems, and TheFault.com. Welcome back to the show, Speed Scene Live. You know, I want to put a special thank you out there to Motor Peak. They're a company that does great video, and we've been enjoying a lot of their video tonight. Check them out. They've got a Facebook page. They've got a YouTube channel. Motor Peak. Peak is P-E-E-K. And uh, great guys. Now, Chris, we've been talking about your event, West Coast Classic at Auto Club Dragway. That's going to be June 12th through the 14th. And I see that Lucas Oil is one of the sponsors. Of course. Uh, what would an event be without Lucas Oil? And uh, <laughs> yeah. me and Brad both uh, have had a really good relationship with Lucas Oil products over the years. And um, we couldn't we couldn't imagine uh, being able to make this succeed without them behind us. So we got them behind the pro class. Uh, they've been uh, so relevant in the super class racers and all that stuff. So we, we wanted to get them involved with the foot brake and bottom bulb guys, which is something that they may or may not be used to seeing. Uh, but to put a title sponsor like that on their class, I think it says a lot for, for what Lucas Oil thinks about this product. It yeah. really does. And now I've got a flyer in my hand. And I know that I went on the Auto Club Dragway Fontana website to get information, but is there a Facebook page or a website dedicated just to your event that people can go to? Yes, we've been utilizing a Facebook page, West Coast Classic Bracket Race, and then we've also been utilizing uh, our sources such as Drag Race Results. We're up on the forum board and uh, uh, the Big Bucks Races Flyer page there and, and utilizing their stuff. Awesome. Now, there's another race going on. It's a little bit down the road from yours mm -hmm. out at uh, Clay City, Tennessee, called the Ultimate 64. And you and I were talking about it in uh, really a cool event. And uh, Diana, might, let's talk to Kelly about the Ultimate sure, 64. Sure, let's go to line two. Kelly, welcome to Speed Scene Live. Hello, welcome. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> we're great. Hey, it's great to have you on the show, Kelly. It's a real honor to talk to you. And, uh, you know, uh, Chris has said a lot of good things about your event. He says he's heard a lot of racers talk about Ultimate 64, and everybody loves the event you put on. Well, we appreciate that. We work hard. We're racers, too, so, you know, we try to make it the best for every racer out there. Now, your event's going to be June 12th and 14th at Mount Park Dragway. That's in Clay City, uh, Kentucky. And, uh, you know, I'm going to come out. I'm going to bring my little 66 Chevy Nova, and uh, I probably will get whooped pretty good by you guys because I know that uh, the Kentucky racers are pretty good racers, but that's okay. I'm coming out to have a good time, and, you know, your event sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, we, uh, we work hard at it. We uh, work year-round on it and do some little satellite races off of it too but uh the main attraction naturally is the ultimate 64 shootout on uh, that weekend you know it's a lot of good racing and for everybody's budget you know so we that's what we try to do well you got the big dollar races you know like the fifty thousand dollar but then you got a whole bunch of ten thousand dollar races for people that you know just want to enter a smaller type event but you got a lot of other stuff going on. Now, uh, you were telling me about how you have a free golf game going. You have a free racer appreciation barbecue. But you have a really cool deal set up with uh, Jed Coughlin. 
tell us yep. about that deal. Oh, that's that's a great deal. That is, uh, it's a win-win situation for everybody in that deal. Uh, Jeggy is probably the most outstanding person that's probably ever been out there, and he's been so kind in all the years with us and sponsorship and everything and doing little things like this. And what we're going to do is, uh, since it's our 10th year, you'll come in, $10 raffle ticket, buy a $10 raffle ticket. On Friday evening, Jeggy will walk out on the starting line. He'll pull somebody's name out. You'll come out of the crowd, put a fire jacket on and a helmet on. Naturally, it'll be a Jeggs jacket. <laughs> and uh, you'll get in his 62 Chevy station wagon. And he'll do a burnout and take that uh, fan down the track. Oh, that's nice. a pretty cool, cool. deal. Yeah. That is cool. But, that's, but you know that's what? Friday and Saturday. It'll happen Friday and Saturday. It'll be a ride each day. Oh. Of course, you get the plaque that goes along with it. Wow. And uh, all the proceeds for that goes to Ohio State University for in the Jigs uh, Cancer Research oh. and the Jigs Foundation. Great. Man, so everybody wins. Everybody wins. That's a that's a good thing. And and Thursdays are fun day because that's when we're gonna have fun with you. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh oh, that's a little scary. I, I, I want to hear about that. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to start him off in the golf outing. what we're going to do. Oh, okay. I don't know it's if he's going ever... to be a scramble. And, and unfortunately, he'll probably get stuck with me. So it might be a. <laughs> it's, it, we'll see to it that he has a good time on the golf course. Now, okay. Kelly, the only thing I'm good at doing on a golf course is drinking. <laughs> hey, that's the reason you're playing with me. Well, Perfect. I hope somebody videotapes this for me yeah. so that I can well, watch it. Uh, you know, I'm not from out there at the West Coast, but what stays in Kentucky oh. stays in Kentucky. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll yeah. be coming to Kentucky too, honey. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do that, then, and that, that's, uh, that's p uh, compliments of Empty Pockets Promotions, uh, me and Randy. And when we come back from that, uh, as a matter of fact, we just paid for all the pork. We got 180 pounds of pork that we're going to put on the smoker mm -hmm. at 4 o'clock that morning. Nice. Oh, yes. And then uh, we'll have the green beans and the corn and the stuff that goes with that. And then after we get your belly full, we'll have a cornhole tournament and a Texas Hold'em tournament <laughs> that night. The barbecue in that evening is uh, sponsored by May Race Cars out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Compliments to them great folks. Well, now, where can people go to uh, get more information? I went to DragRaceResults.com, and the right. flyer's there, everything's there. Is that the best place to look? Yeah, you can go there, and you can also hit us up on Facebook under Empty Pockets Promotions. Very good. Okay. And, and uh, I'm going to head on out. I'm going to have a good time. Uh, I'm not going to be involved in the Ultimate 64. I, you probably sold out by now, aren't you? Yeah, we got some people on the waiting list. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, all of the past winners is going to be there. Wow. See, so aren't you so glad I didn't, be the first year didn't enter, Diana Mike? <laughs> yes. I'm going to enter the 10,000 race because, you know, that's for the little guys like me, okay? Well, I don't want to say that. we got some people coming from your left coast out there coming to our race, too, you know. Oh, well, great. I heard that. Yeah. In fact, uh, uh, we've got uh, uh, Chris Forsythe here in studio. And, and, Chris, you've mentioned you've been uh, trying to get around to be out. Go out to that Ultimate I, 64. I've heard a lot of great things about this race. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Kelly, you guys incorporate the fans into that big race, too, don't you? Oh, yeah. That's the greatest part. And, uh, like I said, compliments of Jigs on Saturday night. We'll take all the 64 drivers, introduce them, and every one of them 64 drivers will have a Frisbee, put their name on it, <laughs> throw it out into the crowd. Now, that's a sight to see, okay? You ought to see grown people fighting little kids for a Frisbee. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> if you're the lucky person that's holding the Frisbee as the man or the woman that wins the 50000 we pay that fan $300 cash. All wow. right. Wow. That compliments of Jigs and My Jack Trucking. Mm -hmm. And two hundred dollars if you're holding the runner-up for us. Mm. Mm -hmm. So there's five hundred dollars up for Gibbs, right there for them, for the fans. And then of course we'll do the uh, two rides with Jeggy, which is just off the chart in my opinion. Uh, anybody that's had any experience with cancer, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's uh -huh. just it's a win-win situation, like I said from the beginning. And you know, just a chance to get to hang out, race with somebody like Jaggy, plus all the other racers, have some good time, nice people, uh, a great track, beautiful facility. It's a win-win deal for everybody. Right. 
And just like Jackie says, come over and talk to me. The ropes are down. We don't need no ropes around me. <laughs> 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 well, Kelly, thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to be out there. And uh, you know what? You're I'm giving looking... away a prize, too, ain't you? Well, I am. I guess i got to pick somebody, huh? you got to do two of them. you got to work, too, when you come out That's here. all right. That's all right. I'll be out there. I'll be looking to have a good time, make some passes in the car. Who knows? I might get lucky. It might go a round or two. might take home $10,000. But if I do, don't tell Diana Might, okay? Ah. <laughs> like I said, what happens in Kentucky stays in Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Kelly, thank you so much. We appreciate you calling in. All righty. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Looking forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. All right. All right sounds good. You. Me too. That is Kelly from the Ultimate 64 race. That's going on at Clay City, Kentucky. And uh, a great event. I'm going to be out there. I'm going to be enjoying the deal. I'll tell everybody all about it when I get back. Well, at least the things you I know, can do. Yeah. Lucky, yeah. when you yeah. go on these trips, you tell me you're working, but it sounds like you're just going to be playing. Oh, no. This is hard work, Diana. Yeah. yeah. yeah this is, oh, no. Yeah, those 16 ounce curls. And, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm taking work boots and gloves and everything. Sure. Now, no now uh, speaking of people that work hard, you know, yes. we, we go to the drag races, we work hard. But, Bob, there's a yes. whole bunch of people that work on these custom cars, and they do a lot of work, yes. and they make these fantastic cars possible. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, we've got someone tonight who actually draws them out first and does fine art. Welcome to Gas on Speed Scene Live. I'm Bob Beck, and, again, you've got Gas here tonight with Steve Stanford. Steve, you just got inducted into the Custom Car Hall of Fame this last weekend. Yeah, it's the West Coast Customs uh, Hall of Fame Award, and I, it's it's a privilege to be uh, to be uh, you know to be so honored. I, I mean, there's, there's a lot of, of, of legendary names on this list, and I guess if they think enough about me to you know to, to add me to their to their uh, August list, <laughs> I must have the wool fairly pulled over you guys' eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you you do the you do customs that everyone can see. Yours your customs aren't necessarily drivable. Although there is one you're working on right now, I understand, that's going to be uh, something interesting. Uh, uh, that name wouldn't start with a Y, would it? Uh, yeah, mm. you go here, you go there, and you're going to make a custom uh. you go. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh yeah. If, yeah, talk about throwing down the gauntlet. A good friend of ours on, on, on the Facebook page, that's uh, Steve Stanford Designs on, on, on Facebook. He keeps, his name is... Uh, 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 his name is also uh, Steve, by the way, Steve Hayes. And we were joking around, and he said, "Oh, I bet." He says, "You're so good." I said, "I bet you can make a you go look good." I bet yeah. you could. Don't tempt me. And, and there's your goes, starting I point. I double god variant. <laughs> so it was on after that. <laughs> then, I, then everybody, of course, it being on the page, everybody else found out about it. So now this thing is just, oh god, what have we started? <laughs> <laughs> well, if anyone can make a you go look good, you can. So, oh. you know, but, but here's an idea of some of the things you've done. Uh, you have done some fine art. I mean, I can't even take a photograph as detailed as you draw. That's a drawing we're looking at? That is a drawing it of a does, beautiful it, it 62 acts, Chevy. Wow, it looks fantastic. And your stuff, oh, thank has, you. your stuff has been on, the, like this one says the Peterson, it's been on display at the Peterson. Now, I love this van. Now, I, I you know, I, my friends have been talking to me into trying to go back to a van. I had a, a custom van back in the day, and I'm looking at your, draw, your, your drawing of this early E-van. I'm going, you know what? I may have to do that and do it just the way you've done it there. Of course, I wouldn't call it Donut Derelicts. I'd probably just call me the derelict and put it on there. But, I mean, this thing is just, I mean, the detail and the accuracy in your art is just amazing. Well, see, here's the thing. I mean, when, when it comes to an illustration, you're trying to uh, get people on board about what, what a potential project looks like. I found, that, especially for, like, the media presentations and sponsored proposals and that sort of thing, that the closer you can get to, to uh, almost photographic accuracy, the less explaining you have to do about what the project is, is going to be like. And then, and not only that, but also the, uh, the fabricator also looks like he's, he's serious in his intent. If he's going to have a professional rendering done, that means he really wants this project to happen. So, and and finally, the fabricators. Everybody's on board about exactly what the project looks like. Everybody's clear. They can figure out a budget. You know, and, and it just makes everybody look good all the way around. And besides, it, it, I just have a heck of a you know a good time doing it. Well, I, we just had a picture of a Maverick on there, and I've got a soft spot in my head for them. I had one for a while, and this one is going, okay, 
after I get the van, I'm going to have to get another Maverick <laughs> because, I mean, this just yeah, looks cool. Underrated. You know, and, and it occurred to me, I said, you don't see a lot of them out there modified, and if you do, they're pretty mild. And I thought, what if you do like a like a sort of a, almost like an Eleanor slash Shelby kind of a treatment to yeah, a Maverick? Yeah. That blows my mind. Yes. And, and you, you've got the proportions right. You've got nice big wheels and tires on it. The striping is great. It's somewhat reminiscent of what the factory did with your own touches to it, plus the Shelby stripe down the center. Well, and the, and the color choice, of course, that's just that's all traditional Shelby. Like the originals yeah. were white with the blue uh, uh, Pete Brock stripes on them. So, uh, yeah, that's absolutely. Right. Got yep. to get that flavor going. And not many people know about Pete Brock in there. And that's that's something that uh, he was kind of the one of the, the lesser known of the Shelby staff. Now, here's one of the cars. Oh. We go back here. Here's one of the vehicles and why you have been inducted into the West Coast Customs Hall of Fame. You take a rendering. You make a rendering of a vehicle that never was but could be and you open up a whole new arena for builders. And right now we're looking at the Cadillac pickup truck. <laughs> I like that. That's a really good looking uh, uh, concept right there. And, uh, you know, if the Cadillac had actually released that, they would have sold a ton of them. I would think, although, Bob, maybe you could yeah. fill it in, or perhaps you too, Steve. Uh, by the way, Steve Bruce here from Speed Scene Live, and I got a couple of questions for you. But this one, it looks like one of those formal cars, like a the flower, old flower car. cars. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that's basically what it started out as. I mean, that that was uh, an outtake from from an article we did uh, that I named the Fountain of Utes, you know, for uh, uh, yeah, utility yeah. vehicles like they say down down under. And yeah, there were a bunch of them, a thirty six Ford. There, you know, there's a uh, sixty one Ford that sort of like a like a shortened roof on it. it these were all uh, vehicles, obviously, that didn't exist. And we were just playing around with some with some concepts. And I've always wanted, I'm a Cadillac freak anyway, and I always wanted to to, to throw a Caddy uh, a concept like that in there. I said, well, if we sold the flower car, I mean, most of the work is done right there. It just needed a little bit of finessing and, you know, some loving, and there, there we yeah. go. And now Chevrolet never made a 64 two-door wagon, but you Man, did. Man, they should have. And the proportions are just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, know, you, you just well, continued on with the no if you, well, hang on. If, if you ask any designer, you mentioned that word proportion. That is extremely important because that's kind of what separates the the possible from the from the not so possible. Words, I see so many illustrations that are kind of done that are almost cartoon like, and that's fine. But by the time you modify it to where it, it's actually slash, you know, well, I should say, quote, production, then you've sort of lost the spirit of what the original was all about. Now, if 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 you take it in, in mind that you're going to keep your proportions key throughout the illustration, you know, from, from the get-go, then there's no need to modify or, or, or you know, or, or make, you know, a little more real. You know, it, it's already there. All right. Now, we've shown a couple of pickup trucks. We showed the, the corn binder, the International, and now we're showing a Dodge. And instead of using the Dodge station wagon rear fenders, you've got the DeSoto or Chrysler rear fenders on it. Oh, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> Most yeah. people didn't pick up on it. They said, oh, I like the Chrysler <laughs> tail I said, uh, the whole quarters are 57. Yeah. Actually, 57 Chrysler Windsor is what I okay. use. Mm -hmm. And you're right. I, w I, I was never a big fan of, of using the Dodge station wagon quarters, and I thought that the Chrysler items flowed much more nicely and, and smoothly. And I also used the uh, uh, the Chrysler uh, side trim also to yeah. tie everything together. Sure. Well, it, that, that works great. A little yeah. chop top. Now, this one, if anyone who goes to West Coast Customs knows that Penny Pichette is trying to put together a car, it's going to be a, a, a raffle vehicle or a giveaway car eventually, but this is the concept drawing of the car that's being built to honor her husband. Aww. What kind of a rear yeah, that, uh, rear roof treatment is uh, that? Upper roof. Well, it's 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 kind it's, of. it's kind of a um, a takeoff on some of the old uh, uh, like the old classics from like the 30s and 40s, mm -hmm. where it's actually a a, a three-way top where the front half lifts off or the back half lifts off, and so you have you know like a full convertible, or you can leave the back half in place like what's depicted in the illustration, sort of a kind of a formal look. There was an old custom that that uh, George Barris did back in the 50s called the Aztec that mm -hmm. actually had a roof uh, arrangement similar to that, and that's where I got the idea. Huh, man. You know, I, Steve, the, the, you were talking about um, proportions earlier, and, and it's so important. Do you actually measure things to get it right? Because it is, it is so precise what you're doing, you know, in terms of just executing the body lines and stuff. And they, it looks so perfect. Like somebody mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. it looks better than a photograph yeah. in terms of its exactitude. Do you take measurements? Or you just freehand this stuff. 
No, you know what? This is all freehand. There's no computers involved. There's no formal measurements. I've got a lot of, of uh, photographic reference, whether it be uh, uh, regular photos or, or magazine clippings and that sort of thing, to keep me in, in, uh, on, on track. The fact that I've been drawing these cars for so many years, I, you know, I, I just got better and better at, at keeping my, my proportions in check. You're, you're looking at years of experience to get the proportions exactly the way they should be. Well, your skill is, is amazing. And that, for those people that, that always kind of like the, the Kerman Gias, mm -hmm. but really wanted a Porsche, but really can't afford a Porsche, you got a gorgeous car and Gia here. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're looking at the new Gia. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got some, yeah. so much fun with it. You know, that was, sometimes I do illustrations just for myself, just as kind of a one if. And then I'll <laughs> throw them up on Facebook, to, you know, just, just to, uh, to let everybody else see. And I've been thinking about that Gia concept for a very long time, and, and, and I was just penciling it out, and I was just going to do just a quickie pencil sketch, and I had so much fun, I just kept going. Next thing you know, I had a finished <laughs> illustration. Oh, yeah, that, one, that one's been a real Facebook favorite of ours. All right, now you do. The, like you said, occasionally you do them for yourself, but sometimes you do them for others. Oh, I, I, I gotta stop. Wait, wait, is that a gremlin? That's a gremlin. That's a gremlin. Oh, that is a that's gorgeous nice. gremlin. That, is that, is so that would have cool. saved AMC and they would have had to go to Chrysler. That you would have. Jeez. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that's that's been one of my favorites. I don't know if you well, you guys probably know the story. That was one of the outtakes from the, the Hot Rod Magazine April Fool's thing that we did about the return of Air, American Motors, <laughs> and God, we, we, we broke so many hearts. But I made up this completely over the top story about the revival of AMC, and they got these execs that are on board, and they got this budget, and you know we're going to put like, <laughs> like a nine speed paddle shifted transmission in it. And believe it or not, now today, just that was a few years ago. Now today, they're coming out with nine speed transmission. Yeah. So I was almost pressing it. That was like, <laughs> See, you're, we you're, had a full, clear we had a full line of, of AMC cars. It was great. Oh, oh yeah, it, it was great. Yeah, the, the the Dodge Challenger is great. Now you, as as I said, I was starting to say, you do some for yourself every once in a while. But you do these on commission for people. Uh, yeah, tell me about speaking, that. That's, that's where the bulk of my work is, yes. Well, tell, tell me about it. If someone wanted to get that done, time frames, uh, what, the, what they need to do, how they need to contact you. Well, as, as I always tell people, I said the sooner you get the stuff in, you know, the sooner I can I can look at it because I'm generally working on a lot of things all at once. And the best way to contact me again is through my Facebook page. It's uh, uh, Steve Stanford Designs, you know, and um, uh, you know, then we can we can take. Some people are serious. Some people just want an idea, or you know, as far as pricing and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. And that's that's sort of like a, on an individual basis as far as prices go. Um, yeah, but that's. Um, like I say, the, the the sooner you get your request, and uh, the, the hopefully the sooner I can I can turn it around. It, what, what is your uh, just for an average lease? Like this Cadillac that oh, this is an amazing Cadillac, a red black. The, well, now we switch to the Cadillac that's got the suicide doors, like an old Lincoln. Uh, we keep going through Cad. You got the Cadillac. Yeah. I mean, w or, oh, I see, I'm, a, I'm a caddy for you. You're a caddy. <laughs> Here, Cadillac van. Why not? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, that, was, that was sort of be, sort of like a like an executive jet kind of a kind of an approach, you know, yeah. for, for for the uh, for the executive <laughs> on the go. And yeah, that that was be the sort of yeah, thing why I'd not? Get them around town. GM should have built that already. I mean, the, the, what they're building, is, come on, it's not as good looking as what you've done. All right, if someone wants to get that done. What? How much lead time do you need on average? Because it, well, it obviously I've doesn't been, happen overnight. No, and to be honest with you, most of this stuff lately, I've been up to about six months to, you know, to sometimes it's close to a year as far as lead time goes. But I, like I said, I've been known to, to, to fudge the schedule a bit, but it just, again, it depends on the project and how important it is. Like, for instance, when we did the, uh, the Daryl Gwynn uh, uh, and Tony Stewart uh, Chevelle project for charity, you know, I, I basically cleared the decks and, and got that done because they, they needed that immediately. But yeah. You know, I, like I said, I can, I can be, uh, yeah, I can work with you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, this is great, Steve. Thank you for coming on the show. Uh, if you want to see more of his great illustrations, go to Steve Stanford Design on Facebook. That's where we got a lot of the shots that we're showing tonight and the video, and you can see some great stuff. And I tell you what, Steve, I, I am amazed at your skill and abilities that that, that just and, me. and your vision to be able to take yeah. a car and create something fresh and new that is so much better than the original it's just phenomenal so impressive yeah. i'm gonna buy a gremlin well, and start working well, on it well, I, can, I can see you guys have good taste so I'll, I'll take that. Uh, thank you so much steve take care steve we'll be okay. talking to you we'll talk later thanks
Take Man, care. that was incredible. You know what I think would be cool? I think it would be cool to get Bruce and Steve together because yeah. Bruce has so many wonderful ideas that, what was that, Rancherito? Yeah, yeah, well, and yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that, I yeah, mean, yeah. You, you actually get the pieces of the car and put it together. He could, like, do the drawing. He and, can you tell know. you what it's supposed to look yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, you know, the whole time I was listening to him and looking at those photos, I was thinking about you, Bruce, thinking, you know, this is what... Bruce physically does. Man, I would yeah. just. Oh, I, wouldn't it be great to start with just raw material and yeah. just turn into you know turn you it want. into something that Steve has created? That's a George Barry yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, you know, and you look at Steve's stuff, and like we were saying, it looks like a photograph. His mm-hmm. detail and and abilities, like you said, nothing is computerized. It's all done by hand. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. Hey, uh, uh, Chris, uh, before we get back to the West Coast Classic, now, what kind of a hot rod guy are you? What kind of cars do you like? Obviously, you've got a dragster, right? Uh, well, at, at the current time, I don't own a race car. Oh. Uh, I, I've been fortunate enough to uh, get involved over at the Hughes Motorsport Camp, and Jim Hughes has given me an opportunity mm. to drive one of his cars for the last two years. So, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think if you uh, had to put your eggs in a basket one way or the other, I, I think you'd rather go to work with Jim Hughes. Well, I know he does make good transmission products yeah and uh, i think when i was looking at the flyer isn't hughes transmissions one of the companies that's uh involved with some of your uh round well actually hughes performance is getting involved with the west coast classic for the best winning package award so Mm -hmm. what we're going to do as opposed to the round packages we have for each of the best losing per round we're going to take the best winning package of the event both pro or super pro whichever the case may be and they're going to win a torque converter of, torque converter of choice out of their wow, warehouse. Wow. Nice, so that's a good prize. That's great. I like a good package too. So yeah. good for Hughes for sponsoring this yeah. package. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow I think there's uh, yeah okay. Well, let's uh, and and then uh, I wanted to mention also is it a uh, Huntsville Motor, Huntsville Engine, my good buddy Todd Ewing over there in Huntsville, Alabama. Me and him have been friends for. Well, a solid five years, five, six years now. And Todd's been on the move to try to get some of his product over here on the West Coast. So when we talked to him about what we were doing, he thought it'd be a great opportunity to jump on board. And I didn't see this one coming, but he decided, well, let's put together a motor. Let's give 64 guys an opportunity to race for it. And then we'll pay some cash out to the other eight guys that finish in the top eight. So somebody's going to win a Huntsville engine. Somebody is going to win a complete 582 Huntsville wow. engine carburetor wow. to fa- carburetor to pan with mm-hmm. a vacuum pump all hooked up ready to go. Oh man. $18,500 mm-hmm. value. That's yeah. a big oh. value. Woo. And like okay, so obviously one guy's going to have this motor, but there's going to be a lot of other guys that are going to say well, maybe I'd like to buy a Huntsville motor. Is Huntsville set up to where they can just ship them out here, and when they want to get it freshened, you ship it back to uh, Alabama? Absolutely. Uh, if you get a hold of Todd Ewing and Andy over there at Huntsville Engine, they'd be more than willing to accommodate you and your needs. All right. Now your race is going to you're going to start teching on uh, Thursday. Yes, actually, the flyer has quote-unquote stacking and then tech starting on Thursday. Uh Uh, Because of the response we've gotten from a lot of racers, we've decided that 12 noon on Thursday the 11th, we're going to open the gates. We're going to let you come in and park. Uh, Sally Martini will be on hand. Most bracket racers and racers on the West Coast know who she is. She's going to take care of you. We're going to have tech open from 2 to 6, and we're going to allow you to take care of your registration. So for all you early birds that want to get there and make the most of your test and tune on Friday, you got Thursday to come in and get settled in. And I mentioned it at the beginning of the show, but if you were racing last weekend at the Divisional, if you're coming up this weekend for the Jeg Sports National or even the NMCA West event at Auto Club Dragway Fontana, you can leave your rig out there for your for the West Coast Classic, right? Correct, correct. That was uh, that was a big point that uh, Auto Club Dragway was willing to work with us on to make sure that any of the out-of-towners that saw value in sticking around for this race that way they could make a trip out of it. And it, there's a lot of great racing going on over there at Fontana for these three, three, four weeks. And then actually there's races the following two weeks after that. So all you got to do is come down 
Uh, you may have to move your rig over during the NMCA race, but all you got to do is make your way to the tower. They'll have you fill out a little information sheet so they can contact you if necessary, and you'll be all set to go. Well, you know, I want to let a lot of people that don't live in the area know that this time of the year, well, pretty much every time of the year, we have great weather. It's, it's in, California, in California. Lucky. There's yeah. so much it's, to do here in Southern California. Yeah, we, <laughs> if you bring your family down for the West Coast Classic, you can leave your rig at the track. You uh, can go to Disneyland, mm-hmm. Knott's Berry Farm, San Diego, Los Angeles. There is a endless amount of things to do that the kids will love, the wife will love. Everybody will have a great time. And this is the perfect opportunity to take a vacation, go to a great race, combine them all together. The track's making it easy on you. And uh, don't worry about rain because we don't no, ever get it. We don't get rain. Yeah. No we, snow? No. No, no, no. no, no snow. I'm going to stay out of this part of the conversation. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't shovel smog here. No, no, no. no. no, no. And no. It, the track will be good, the weather will be good, and there is a lot to do. So this yes. is a great opportunity. Yeah. See, see the blue skies in these pictures? This is how it is pretty much 365 days a year. Yeah, we have spring and summer and spring and summer. summer. Oh. And, and, and your race is in June, so it's not even been hot yet uh, no. a month later it'll start getting warm but june is just going to be beautiful yeah and uh auto club dragway there you're going to be able to pit on uh blacktop you know you're yeah, not pitting in dirt or gravel mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There, there's no bad spot in the house there's no I'm bad here. spot and, it's a great place and also for those of you that are out of towners there's a, a airport within just a few miles mm-hmm. ontario international airport is very local so if you if you gotta fly home for any reason you want to leave your rig and everything out here it's a great centralized location and, don't and the, miss out and the track's like five minutes off a major freeway mm-hmm. and it's all yeah. good road and uh, the reason i was asking about the race car not to put you on the spot chris because i really didn't know you didn't have a race car I, you know i'm gonna see you on an off ramp with a sign you know hey, give me money for a race car, a race car. <laughs> but uh you, you know i wanted people to know that uh, everyone in the southern california area knows who you are knows you're a great guy and has dealt with you before but you're a racer so when it comes time to put on a race you know what racers like and you're to promote a race to run a race to deliver a race, you really need to be a racer. Uh, Tracy Fishley, the track manager at Auto Club Dragway Fontana, he's yeah, a racer, racer too. So everybody is on the side of the racer. The whole goal of this event is for you to come to the, the West Coast Classic, enjoy yourself, and say, you know, I'm looking forward to next year's. Absolutely. I mean, that that's the whole goal. We, we want to create a race that is based on all the great experiences me and Brad have had across the country at all these different races and and try to pinpoint them into one weekend and 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 share those with with whoever decides to come through the gates and um, you know we appreciate the support we appreciate all the positive response we've gotten so far but obviously the ultimate thank you is uh, putting some faith in us and coming out June 11th through the 14th and you're gonna give them a lot of time your test and soon runs from 9 a.m. so they don't have to get up real early although I don't think they're gonna be able to sleep late but 9 a.m to 6 p.m. Wow. on Friday. Saturday, you're going to run time trials starting at 8 a.m. Uh, you're starting eliminations on, you're doing your eliminations on Saturday. You're having the cookout Saturday night. I mean, this is going to be one full event with plenty of time and plenty of action. Yeah, we're we're going to be busy, that's for sure. And uh, I, I think a lot of racers will attest to the fact that we do end up some places a lot of weekends where there's a lot of downtime and we're going to try to alleviate that and put on some good races have a lot of events we got six races over the course of two days we got to complete uh we are bringing in lights so there's a chance we could be racing under the lights over here in southern california um friday yes we test and tune uh the track is hosting a test and tune it's fifty dollars to all our participants uh it will be ran from nine to six and we're not giving out run cards. We can't guarantee you more than one run, but we're not going to limit you to anything. As long as you can get the car back in the lanes, you're there to run. Mm-hmm. And Friday afternoon at some time, we haven't come up with the details just yet, but Brodex has given us a thousand dollars towards a set of cylinder heads that we're going to incorporate into a run for the money type event Friday Ooh, afternoon. There you go. Man, there's so much going on. You know, I look at this flyer and I see all these sponsors and all, all these awards, you know, it, it just seems like the more you read about your event, the more stuff you're handing out to the racers. And I know racers love that, and uh, it's going to be a great event. June 12th through the 14th, 
Uh, is there any of the other sponsors or people involved? We mentioned Fig Speed. Uh, we mentioned a bunch of the other Lucas. companies. Well, I mean, we've got a list of them. Uh, Quick Fuel, BTE, Goodyear, RB Components, California Car Cover, uh, Clay Smith Cams, Hoosier, uh, Dustin Lee Racing Engines has got on board with us, Autometer, uh, Taylor Motorsports, APD, and even Brad Plurd's company, Plurd racing products is jump on board for the six round sponsorship of the best losing package in pro now one of the other things you're doing is you're going to cater to all the racers you've got quarter mile racing and eighth mile for those who want to do that right and and i think that's good uh we saw what they did over there at, at bristol at the spring fling and the eighth mile went off with a with a big bang in my opinion and and i enjoy eighth mile racing and i think a lot of people they're just not used to it over here on this side of the country. And the more you get an opportunity to do it, you'll see a big reflection in your quarter mile driving because everything happens so much quicker in an eighth mile uh, that when you stretch it out, uh, you, everything becomes a little more keener. Your, your senses become a little bit tighter. And uh, I, I, I think it actually helps your driving. So uh, we're gonna give them a, a little bit of taste on both. Try to try to keep some uh, some flavor there and, and give everybody a shot to win. Now I, I'm uh, I'm on the foat.com and I'm talking to people on there, the foat nation. I'm doing crew updates, and people are asking me questions and stuff. And one of the questions is: Is there going to be a live stream on the internet of your race? Anybody doing that? Um, we we had looked into a couple packages to do that. Uh, unfortunately, we hadn't been able to come up with something that makes sense to do this year. Uh, it's definitely something we will have in the works to move on for for next year's event. Um, but at this point, no, we won't have anything that that'll be streaming live. Well, hopefully next year you'll have yeah. it set up because you know I know it's always more fun to be at the race, but you know there's people too that just can't make it. There's no way, or you know the race car's broken. They're out of money. My name is. They just spent all their money on a transmission rebuild. <laughs> uh, you know, Ooh, someone we know. <laughs> sounds, <laughs> sounds familiar, Lucky. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, money gets tight sometimes, and uh, uh, racers can't always go to the races, and they like to watch racing. Well, and sometimes they're just so far away they can't make it. But you yeah. know what? They think maybe next year they can, and they want to see what's going on this year. So that's understandable. But I'm I'm sure you'll get like a cult following, and you know, this year will be great. Next year will be better. Just keep going and 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 enhancing the program that's right and speaking of enhancing programs bruce can mm. we play that last commercial break and when we come back we'll uh, wrap it up with uh, chris and the west coast classic june 12th through the 14th at auto club dragway fontana Hey, I'm Chad Fergan from Brookings, South Dakota. When I'm not driving this Corvette, I'm at home watching Speed Scene Live. Take your vehicle's racing performance to an all-new level with a custom racing engine from Paul Williams Specialties. Put PWS's 30-plus years of experience to work on your race car, muscle car, any type of high-performance engine. PWS can build your winning combination from scratch or refresh and improve your current engine. Working on a project? Don't waste money through trial and error. Consult with Paul Williams first. Wrap up your performance with Paul Williams Specialties. Helping championship level drivers become champions through better performance and reliability. For over half a century, Curry rear end components have been twisting out the torque and taking the punishment. And the new Curry lineup is stronger than ever. Some of the world's most capable, hardest working vehicles depend on Curry gears, which is why you can too. Street cars, hot rods and resto rods, drag cars, rock crawling four wheel drive vehicles, whatever you're piloting, Curry expertise and rock solid design means the parts will do their job so you can do yours. Check out Curry's custom rear ends, featuring a full line of upgrades, components and installations options. The Curry Crate Rear Ends lineup offers ultra-strong construction on third members and carrier assemblies. And other underside parts, like correct link steering systems, keep your four-wheeler pointed where you want it. Add in a wide variety of solid, purpose-built suspension and brake components, and you've got one tough, ready-to-go machine. Grab a hold of a Curry Rear End. Talk to the experts at 714-367-2679 or view the complete line online at curryenterprises.com.
everyone in the armed forces that has served to defend our great country and our freedom. All of us here in the United States of America would like to offer our sincere appreciation for all that you do and all that you've done. To every family that has made a sacrifice for us, we thank you. Sixty years. That's a long time for a company to do any one thing. Doing it right while sticking to your founding values. Now that takes hard work and dedication. For 60 years, Hetman's All-American Workforce has been devoted to manufacturing the very best headers any team of craftsmen can build. That's 60 years of cutting, 60 years of bending, 60 years of welding, more than two million in all, and every set made right here at home. At Hetman Headers, we build All-American horsepower, then back it up for life. Hetman Headers. Made in the USA. Hi, this is Troy. And Darlene. From the UMTR, and we watch Speed, Speed Scene, Scene Live. Live Tuesday night. Welcome back to Speed Scene Live, the number one online drag racing TV show. Brought to you by Curry Rear Ends, M&H Tires, Hedman Hustler Headers, Aeromotive Fuel Systems, and TheFault.com. We're back. Wow, so much good stuff, so little time. I'm Bruce Barker. That's Diana Mike. There's Lucky Hudson. There's Hot Rod Bob Beck. Chris Forsyth, West Coast Classic, is uh, in the studio as well. We're just having a good old time. Glad, yep. or at least we hope you are as well. <laughs> well, you know, Chris was just telling us about how, uh, Chris, the track is actually hosting the Racer Pre appreciation uh, uh dinner dinner yes yeah, saturday evening of the event uh auto club dragway has chosen to reciprocate their thanks to the racers for coming out and supporting obviously it's uh, very few and far between you see a track come back from the dead uh but we've been able mm -hmm. to kind of witness that with uh auto club dragway yeah. and they're real excited about this event they're real excited about the racers coming in they have a lot of great events going on out there this year so they wanted to show their appreciation so they're going to give all the racers and their crew uh, dinner from local favorite Rosa Maria's Mexican food. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that was uh, Andy Robles' uh, restaurant, mm -hmm. and uh, always great food, great place to eat, and it's nice that they're involved with the racing. Now, you also have a bunch of awards for, like, uh, well, tell us about some of the awards. Well, we're, throughout the weekend, we're going to have a lot of random raffles. We'll pull tech cards for no reason than to give somebody some money or something. <laughs> um, we're going to have uh, a best-appearing car uh, presented by the DeFrank family over there at California Car Cover. Uh, RB Components will be supplying the guy or the gal who decides to come from the furthest distance away with a long-distance award. Uh -huh. uh, TNT Designs, uh, the Theobald Brothers out of, uh, if I'm not mistaken, St. George, Utah, they mm -hmm. made us some sweet custom trophies for our winners throughout the weekend. Uh, Chris Lindsay over in Phoenix, Lindsay Racing Products, uh, he's given away a set of wheels as a bounty award Sunday to the guy or gal that beats Saturday's Super Pro winner. Uh, oh, so it's uh, like he's got uh, a, a big target on his back, yeah. for him or her. Absolutely, in the form of a wheel. Yeah, oh. <laughs> and we got uh, we got all sorts of companies involved. K and N jumped on, DRE, Digital Delay, Auto Meter, Specialty Fasteners, Bobby Dye, uh, Popeye Energy Drinks. They're going to be supplying all our racers in the staging lanes with uh, either Popeye Energy Drink or you can get yourself a bottle of water, depending on whether or not we got a little bit of heat that weekend. Mm. Nice, nice. And once again, how can people find out more information about the event? The best way at this point is to go about looking at Auto Club Dragway's website. You can find our web, or uh, I'm sorry, our Facebook page, uh, West Coast Classic Bracket Race. Go on there and like it. We've been updating that daily as to what's going on, kind of highlighting the sponsors that got behind us, what they're doing. Uh, any schedule changes you'll see there or drag race results under the bracket form or you can go check out our flyer under the big bucks flyers uh, on their website and we have a link on our website that goes right to dragraceresults.com so it's real easy 
click on there it'll take you to the page you'll see all the races you can get all the information everything you need and uh, you might even see some posts on the forum i know you put some stuff up from time to time about racers parking and and when you do the tech and stuff so there's more information that continues to come out so it's a drag race great place to get all that info well you know we're almost out of time have we covered all your sponsors chris we want to make sure that all the people that are supporting your event that we show them our support i think so if not i'll have a phone call in five minutes when i walk <laughs> out of here sure you will. and what we always say is make sure that you support the people that are supporting drag racing it's really important give them your business let them know you heard about them here on speed scene live that's right for example you need a transmission or a torque converter Hughes transmissions obviously involved giving away free stuff Bruce, do you think we could squeeze in just a couple of what's going on real quick? You want to do it? I'll do it real quick, and I'll start off with the June 12th, 14th, the 10th Annual Ultimate 64 Shootout at Mountain Park Dragway in Clay City, Kentucky. 64 racers are entered for 50 k to win, plus all kinds of other cool stuff. That's the way that I'm going to be at because, well, I'm going to be in the neighborhood. Diana Mike? Well, how about June 19th through the 21st? It's the NHRA Hot Rod Reunion. That's going to be in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Come on down and visit the Curry Headman booth and, well, meet Lucky. I'll be there, too. Ask us for a Speed Scene Live sticker. I'll even put it on your car. Ooh. Hey, plus watch some great nostalgia racing and see hundreds of show cars. And June 26th and 28th, the second annual Lone Star Summer Shootout at Big Country. Raceway in Abilene, Texas, provided they dry out. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. And Uh-oh. Pink's all out at Rockingham Dragway. We're going to have Rich Christensen on the show. That's at The Rock, June 30th through July 4th. Tickets are still available. Go to Facebook, Pink's All Out Week. And Let's not forget, we've been talking about it all evening, the West Coast Classic Bracket Race at the Auto Club Fontana Raceway. That's June 12th through the 14th. Hey, if you see Chris, give him a hard time. (laughs) Everybody else will, so join in. Get in line. (laughs) We'll be back next week. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching Speed Scene Live. Wow, look at this. Just in time you are for the encore presentation of tonight's show. Thanks for joining us once again, and we'll be back one week from right now, right here at SpeedScenelive.com. Speed Scene Live TV, the number one online motorsports TV show. Brought to you by Curry Racing Rear Ends, m Tires, Headman Hustler Headers, Aeromotive Fuel Systems, and TheFoat.com.